Not so long ago, oil prices were wind down by Biden's decision to release oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, as well as uncertainty about Russia's decree of uh, ruble statements for gas. However, at the very end of last week, the situation changed somewhat. Currently, the main factor dragging oil prices down is a sharp deterioration in the epidemiological situation in China. Shanghai, China's biggest city, began its uh, most extensive lockdown in the two years that was enough to make market participants worried about global oil demand that would definitely shrink. Therefore, it comes as a no surprise that oil is gradually losing value. At the moment, its further dynamics depend on the epidemiological situation in China. If it gets worse, oil prices will continue to slide. From a technical point of view, brand crude oil futures saw a decrease in the volume of short positions at the level of 102.50, acting as a variable point. As a result, the assets decline slowed down, which led to price stagnation between the marks of 102.50 and 106.00. In this case, given that speculative hit still keeps the market bubbling, the best tactic is to trade with a view of breaking uh, through one of the given boundaries. If the price consolidates above 106.50, a buy signal will come and the way to the area of 108.50 and 110 will open. Short positions will be relevant if the price fixes below 102.50 on the 4-hour chart. On an increase in the volume of short positions will drag the asset down to the levels of 196.95. Now let's take a look at the gold chart. Apart from a short-term spike posted on March 24, gold prices have been hovering around $1,930 per three ounce for almost three weeks in a row. The yellow metal cannot break out of a tight range limited by the levels of $1,920 to $1,940. Although global risks are just growing, gold as a safe haven asset is not in a hurry to gain value. Apparently, investors cannot make accurate forecasts due to increased uncertainty about the future in the market, including in the gold one. The situation with the Russian ruble is also rather uncertain. Judging by the ruble's solid gains, market participants expected the dollar ruble to rebound following a shift to ruble payments for gas. However, on the contrary, the Russian currency continued to strengthen. Currently, it's consolidating slightly above the level of 80 rubles per dollar and even aging higher. The Western media did not attach great importance to what happened on April 1. In general, the media keep saying that nothing has changed for buyers. Such reports should have contributed to a decline in the ruble, but this did not happen. It turns out that certain changes have taken place from the point of view of investors. However, the question that remains is how major these changes are. Well, there is no answer to this question. The ruble remains stable. Nevertheless, the ruble's impressive rally is likely to shortly be replaced by a pullback, and this scenario is inevitable. According to the trading chart, the dollar ruble pay is still drifting between the levels of 82.50 and 85.50. Such a pre-launched price movement in a tight range may well lead to new speculative moves in the market. And that's all for now. We continue to learn developments on financial markets. Subscribe to our channel and follow news with us. See you in our next release.